What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Blade, Retro Gamer. You know, whatever you want to call it, man. You guys know my name on social media or different names on social media. But yes, I'm wearing my wrist things because my wrists are fucked up again. But and that's not what this live stream is about. This live stream is about something different that I feel needs to be addressed. That is very serious, you know, like. This is something that I see going on quite a bit myself. That I feel needs to be brought to light. So I'm sitting here just chilling out, doing my thing, you know, setting up my reaction channel and stuff so I can do, you know, more reaction videos for you guys like the one I did on my Retro Gamer channel earlier this morning. Shout out to Jason and Frank from Power Rangers. Shout out to Greg. But, you know, I'm sitting there chilling, right? Just doing my thing. When I go to look through the videos that I have up on Bloodshot Records, as well as my own channel, if you guys don't know, me and my buddy Ian Duxworth started up Bloodshot Records to help other artists out. But, um, yo, whoever's liking my shit, dude, damn, man, chill. Like, I don't mind. I love the, I, I love you for that, but damn, dude, all those likes at one time just going straight across. Like, it was, I could barely see the damn screen. I know that I mind. I mean, I love, like, I'm glad you love it, dude, but damn, that was a lot of likes at one time, bro. But anyways. You know, I'm sitting here chilling, kicking it, doing my thing. You know, scrolling through. You know, different videos to kind of, that I've done and different songs I've done to kind of see, you know, what I've done. And I'm going to read off to you guys one of the comments. Because as you guys know, I redid and remastered my song from start to finish. And, you know, people reacted to that one very, very well. Like, they reacted better with that one than they did with the original, which I thought was pretty cool. But, you know, I'm sitting here just scrolling through the videos, and I decided to pop that song on, because, you know, it's one that I did have a lot of fun recording. And, you know, I kind of wanted to listen to it, just to, you know, have something to listen to, even though it's my own shit. And, it, you know, right now it's standing at 11 views, and I noticed I got a couple comments. One of them being from Elucidus from Freak Show Records. Shout out to Elucidus Freak Show Records, Young Fox, everybody on Freak Show Records. Shout out to you guys. But I noticed this one comment from this guy named Alexander James about two weeks ago. But uh, check this out. This is, exact, this is exactly what this dude had to say. Shit is too fast for the style. Just quit and stop trying to ruin the music industry. Plus, you stole that beat. Well, here's my response to you. This is something that I know every artist is guilty of, but it's technically not stealing. I'll admit, some of the tracks I do on my own, you can tell what ones I do on my own. And what ones I get from YouTube. But here's the thing. A lot of the metal stuff that I do. Yes I have grabbed. From YouTube. We're all guilty of it. You know my buddy Koda Oda. One of the best fucking rappers on earth. Is guilty of it. Six seconds. Every rapper on earth is guilty of. You know snagging free beats off of YouTube at some point. In their life. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, like, that's what it's there for, is to be used or whatever. And I just happened to find one that fit really well with the song from start to finish when I remastered it. Well, he wants to sit there and talk shit. But what he doesn't realize is when I do, you know, grab beats off of YouTube, like, when I very rarely do do that, I make sure they're copyright free. They're royalty free. 
in case you don't know what that means that means if you use it it's yours to use you cannot get in trouble for using it so really that's not stealing at all when somebody puts up on their thing copyright and royalty free on their thing in the description like let's say i put out a beat like let's say i put out the beat that i did just yesterday from my buddy eric scrubwell shout out to scrub like let's say i put that beat up on youtube for anybody in the world to use anybody in the world can use it and i put copyright and royalty free what that means is they can take and use that beat in any way they see fit. That is not stealing. They're using it. And that's that. Like, that is not stealing. If I were to go and steal a beat, I would freaking go on to YouTube. Like, I wouldn't go after a track like that. If I really wanted to steal, you know, someone's music, I'd go after, like, a favorite band. Or you know, an artist that I really enjoy, I would go after that. Like, if I really wanted to be a fucking dick and steal someone's music, I would straight up go up to guys like Linkin Park, steal their shit, get it redone, recopywritten, and lay claim to it. But I'm not like that. I don't sit there going around stealing beats. So the shit I do, like my metal work, yes, I have to go through YouTube to do it due to the fact that I don't have a way to create metal music at this point in time due to me being on a Chromebook and not a computer where I can have access to FL Studios. So it's a little harder for me to do that. Do I like grabbing beats and stuff off of YouTube? No, I don't. I hate it. I hate having to, you know, grab metal tracks and shit like that off of YouTube. Like, I create, I can create dubstep and, you know, rap and hip-hop tracks all fucking day long. But I don't have the way to do the metal tracks. I mean, I do, but it sounds completely shit. And I don't want my stuff sounding like shit. I want it to sound very professional and very well made and done. But honestly, I don't see the harm in, you know, grabbing a free royalty free metal track off of YouTube to put my lyrics to. That's what it's there for. They put it out there for people to use. So to any hater out there, you know, not only hating on, you know, myself, but any other artists out there, this is to you, man. Every single one of y'all haters can do this and fuck off. Because see this middle finger? This is for you fuckers. All you haters out there. Everybody who wants to fucking doubt me, who doubted Coda, who doubted any fucking artist or band that I know personally, y'all can do this. And fuck off and go fuck yourselves. Because you sitting there saying that I'm ruining the music industry. Motherfucker, you got another thing coming. You don't know me. You don't know what I am literally capable of doing. Yeah, I might not be signed. I'll admit that. I might not have money. I'll admit that too. But that does not mean that I'm ruining the industry with my music. You look my name up on YouTube. You look my name up on Google. Google me, motherfucker. I made a name for myself through Google. I made a name for myself through YouTube. Am I making any money from it? Not yet. But that's what I'm busting my ass to do every day so I can make money from what I do best. As I said, I know I haven't been doing music lately, but obviously, you know, like I said, with the death of Kota Oda, who is not only a very well-established and major underground music artist, 
but also was a dear friend to me. And, you know, and I've been helping out his family and stuff with, you know, music on their end of things, getting them the tracks they need and all that stuff. You know, Coda was a very dear friend to me, you know, both in music and outside of music. Like, whenever I had an awesome art piece of, he would always ask me, the, for one of the first things he would do every day, hey, how you doing? You got any new art up? You got any new music up? And I'd be like, yeah, sure. And then I would show him my artwork. I would show him my music. And I'd be like, yeah, man, like, everything's good. Like, what's good? You know, we would sit down and talk. Like, it didn't, it wasn't always about the music with us. Like, a lot of people think that, you know, just because I worked with Coda on the musical level, that's what we were all about. That's not true. Me and him talked a lot outside of music. A lot. Like, we hung out on Facebook, FaceTime, and shit, and just had fun, dude. Like, that's what we were about. You know, we were really good friends. We were really close. You know, he was a good friend to me, just like he was a good friend and brother to a lot of other people. Say, you know, how can I not help out the family of one of my best friends, you know, both inside and outside of music? Granted, music is how we got connected, how we became friends, but it was more to it than just music with us. Granted, I know he liked to party. I get that. I really do. And I respect that. I mean, you know, who wouldn't want to party and stuff after making it huge? Hell, or me, I'd probably do the same damn thing. I'd probably grab up a bunch of friends, head out to the clubs, party, have a good time. But for all you haters out there wanting to hate on me, instead of hating on me, take a look at YouTube. Look up my name. Look up the name Chance Wilkins. I guarantee you the first thing that pops up when you type in Chance and a W-I-L-K-I-N-S is my shit. If you don't believe me, you guys can actually do that right now. Like, if you don't believe me, go do that shit. Go look. Like, you will see my stuff on there. I've made a name for myself internet-wise, even though I might not be you know, that famous, I've still established myself to that certain level of, okay, I've now established myself. Now I can start, you know, building my stuff and doing all this stuff to really get it out there. And I also do want to give a huge shout out to a crew I just joined recently in the art community called the Art Alliance. Shout out to Jim. Shout out to my sister Brandy, a.k.a. Angel. Shout out to everybody in the Art Alliance crew. I love everything that you guys do. You guys have some awesome work. I really enjoy it, and I'm glad you guys enjoy my artwork as well. Um, I will be actually, in fact, starting up a brand new, um, not art, well, I might start up a new art station. I don't know. But I will be starting up a brand new DeviantArt specifically for my flame art. I finally managed to get back into doing flame style artwork, uh, which I'll be posting on my timeline very soon. Because I know a lot of you guys really do enjoy my flame artwork and my smoke style work. So I will be posting that up. And I know a lot of you guys do enjoy my abstract art as well. Like, and I have fun doing it. Like, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. It's great. Yeah, you know, something unique that not very many take seriously, so I figured why not be the one to do it. But, you know, I'm just so sick of seeing these haters just be like, dude, you don't belong in this industry. You're ruining the culture of music. You're ruining this. You're ruining that. Dude, the only person ruining this shit is you by talking shit. Like, seriously, like, here's my thing about haters. Like, this is one question I've always had for the haters that I feel needs answered. 
And that is, what's your reason for it? Like, why would you waste your energy and your time just to go into a video to hate? Like, why would you put a negative comment? Like, I can understand if, like, the video actually does pertain to something, you know, very negative. Then I can understand putting hate towards that negative video. Like, if it's a kid getting beat up, like, if this bully's beating this kid up, and, you know, it's on that bully's page, I can understand disliking that video. I understand that. If it has to do with, like, violence, drugs, or something in that nature that doesn't need to be shown or aired on the web or at all, I understand 100%. Because I have a lot of videos that are like that that I dislike myself. But for you to just go and waste your time and energy just to hate somebody's song that they busted their ass on, like, instead of, you know, backing them up and saying, hey, you know, like, I like what you're doing, you know, keep on going, you know, like, you do have skill. Or, like, or, like, if you don't really think it's that good, but you know they have potential, yeah, hey, you know, like, I don't necessarily like the song, but you do have a voice, you know, keep working on it. Try to utilize that in other styles. But no, instead of doing that and giving the person constructive criticism, you guys want to sit there and bash and rip and pick at every little fucking thing. Just like with my one song that I released last year called Please Notice Me. That was a fucking hit with the fans. And that was the first time I ever stepped outside of my comfort zone and actually tried actually singing. And that actually turned out very well. Like the song became a huge hit amongst, you know, my friends, my family, and most importantly, you know, you guys watching who enjoy it. But I also did get a fair share of hate on it thanks to Alexander Odinson. And his group of buddies who still to this day hate on shit. Still to this very day. But, you know, like I said, in a way I should be thanking the haters because, you know, it's free promo for me. Because by you hating on me, you're spreading word of mouth, which is getting other people to take notice and for them to check it out so that's literally you know free promo both ways so you know i love my haters i love the fans you know i love them both but instead like the one thing i just don't understand is why you feel you need to hate like what did i ever do to you especially when i don't know you i've never spoken to you i've never had any kind of contact with you like, why would you sit there and just straight up hate like that? Like, dude. Yeah, I might not be as good as I used to be. But, you know, I'm getting back to that point. I'm still busting my ass every day. I'm still in that studio doing what I do best every fucking day. Yes, I might be taking a break to, you know, work on some other stuff. Like some side projects, like reaction videos for my new reaction channel. Which I am going to be finishing up the stuff for that tonight. And yes, I will be doing the first reaction video tonight. So don't worry, that is going up. But, you know, like I said, for you to just hate like that, that's not right. And if any of you guys that know my stuff are watching this, I have a challenge for every person watching this, whether I can see that you're watching it or not. And I know you guys are probably going to hate me to death for this. But I have a challenge for you guys. This is something that my buddy Eric challenges every person who watches this stuff every day. Anybody who watches this, if you see that other person commenting or watching, I want you to go to their stuff right now or after this live stream, whenever, whichever you prefer. And just go like some of their stuff. You know, go like some of their photos, videos, you know. Show each other love, man. (laughs) 
you know, like that's my challenge for you guys. You see something on somebody's page in a group that you like, not only should you like that, you should go to their profile, like some of their stuff as well. And go and talk to them, man. Message them. I want you guys to start messaging each other, man. I want my fan base to be more than just a fan base. I want you guys to be a community, a family. That's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to be able to talk to one another. I want you guys to be able to talk to each other like you guys talk to me all the time outside of all this. Like, you know, it's only fair. I mean, there's too much hate being spread in this world. There's way too much hate. And I feel like if we started spreading more love for each other, like I'm challenging you guys to do with each other, half the stuff that goes on wouldn't be going on. Plain simple. But that being said, guys, I am going to hop off here, do a reaction video for you guys, and I will catch you guys later. Like I said, my challenge for you guys, your homework from me to you guys, or my challenge, more or less, is to go like each other's stuff. Go like pictures, videos, talk to each other, message each other, add each other. You know, show each other love, man. <laughs>